that uh, the next two to maybe three weeks, um, maybe some of the most significant time uh, in this Congress and for that matter, for Congress for several decades in getting uh, the Build Back Better plan done, uh, getting it done right, and uh, getting the infrastructure bill done. The important part is uh, the Build Back Better plan right now, Republicans are not expected to be helping this get done, but this is a bill that will lower cost uh, for the average American, uh, everything from prescription drug prices to paid leave, uh, universal child care, uh, universal community college, uh, expanding Medicare. There's a lot of things that are going to save people, uh, real people money every single day. There's also a tax cut uh, by ex- uh, extending the child tax credit, the tax cut. Uh, most people will see who have children will get a, a essential tax cut from that. Uh, we also are creating millions of jobs, many that focus on climate change, and it's paid for uh, by the wealthiest and big corporations that uh, either pay no taxes or hide their money overseas. Uh, This truly is a game changer of a bill. Uh, Just the child tax uh, cut part alone will lift half of the children in this country out of poverty. So we're going to need people to be very active on their phones, to be pressuring their members of Congress to do the right thing. The special interests are cranking up everything from advertising to lobbyists knocking on doors. We need to crank it up uh, as a citizenry. If you think that uh, lowering your costs as an American, finally focusing on the average person uh, like this bill does, the Build Back Better bill in particular, uh, we've got to really make sure that we're holding our members accountable. And uh, some of even the Democrats who are, you know, listening a little too closely to the special interests, we got to put the pressure on them and we got to put it on them hard. They need to get your calls. Yeah, absolutely. And the the telephone number for Congress, for the switchboard for Congress, is 202-224-3121. If if you're not sure who represents you, just give me your zip code. They'll connect you in the House. If you're not sure who your senators are, tell them what state you live in, and they'll connect you uh, as well. And spot on. If I can, Tom. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, One thing, too, that's real important. I've had some people, including some Democrats, say, well, they're just trying to compromise. You have to compromise to get something done. This bill started at $6 trillion. That's what Joe Biden wanted. Uh, thanks to Bernie Sanders and others who helped negotiate this, uh, we're at $3.5 trillion. So it's already uh, just a little over half of what Joe Biden wanted. To go any more to make Joe Manchin or Tristan Cinema happy when they've already watered down an infrastructure bill would be a really awful idea because you're not going to have universal child care if you have to water this bill down anymore. You won't have universal community college if you have to water this bill down anymore. So uh, it's real important that people understand we've already, this is a compromise. And Bernie Sanders did, I think, an amazing job in working on this compromise. Progressives have his back in the House. Uh, on this compromise. But this is already a compromise, and to uh, go any more isn't a compromise. It'd be really gutting the bill. Yeah, and let's ma- make, remind people that this is $3.5 trillion over 10 years. That's $350 billion yeah. a year. Um, that's yeah. that's like, you know, w- what we used to spend in Iraq and Afghanistan, what, we, what we're still spending in Iraq, uh, but what we used to spend on those two wars in just a couple of months uh, every year. So, I right. mean, it's, it's just like this. this is really not something to get your hair on fire about, uh, unless you're a Republican, of course. Ask yourself two questions. Is my participation in democracy important only every couple of years? And why does the filibuster still exist? Well, the answers to both are up to you. Democracy is a continuous process, and if you don't voice your priorities, your voice will not be heard. The filibuster? Its supporters say it exists to promote debate. It does not. It promotes massive gridlock. Ever since your school days, you were involved in elections where the majority vote prevailed. Why isn't that true of every vote that occurs? Why isn't that true in the U.S. Senate? There, the filibuster rules, and that's why nothing gets done. Let's tell our senators, we want you to discuss the issues, debate them, and then let the majority rule. Please visit LetMajorityRule.org to learn more. That's LetMajorityRule.org. LetMajorityRule.org is a project of the Marvin Lucas Super PAC, which is responsible for and paid for this ad and is not affiliated with or authorized by any political campaign or candidate or candidate's committee.